Hello guys, welcome to another Ado Air refueling tutorial for BMS 434. So I know there are quite a lot of tutorials already out there, but in this I at least try to showcase you some additional inputs onto the recording that might help you out in understanding how at least I handle my throttle and stick and also two additional gorges out of the pit which is the fuel flow and the RPM gorge to help visualize a little bit the speed handling I do during the air to air refueling. So in the upper right hand corner you will see one is my stick with live inputs as I move it. Same goes for um, throttle and then below that you have the fuel flow and the RPM gauge. So for the fuel flow, just to explain that a little bit beforehand, with the training tactical engagement we are using, um, and I'm using the one with the block 15, the light jet, the two-seater, we would could say that um, for the air-to-air -air refueling we are aiming for a fuel flow of about 2500 pounds which will then correspond or relate to a calibrated airspeed of exactly 300 knots which is the speed the tanker is going. So with an, another jet and another loadout um, it might be another value for the fuel flow but for um, this technical engagement I could say 2500 is the one we're looking for. Another thing um, where the fuel flow is might be helpful is to build up some kind of muscle memory on how much input on your throttle is needed to change um, speeds. So during air to air refueling you're gaining for changes in the fuel flow of 100 maximum 200 pounds of fuel so that might be helpful to watch out that gauge and see how much input of your throttle then translate into how much change in the fuel flow so as i said 100 to 200 pounds that are the amounts you need to accelerate or decelerate in order to keep your speed correct with the tanker. So that, that said, before, in beforehand, let's start. So I'll check the tactical engagement, then I'll select the ER BMS 05 air to air refueling, commit to 2D. Then we see there are a bunch of flights, so just make sure we take one of the training flights. As I said, we're taking the one with the light jet, which is the second training flight, package number 4977. I'll just take my seat quickly, go to the loadout page, and you see yeah, that's the light jet with the block 15 double seater which has a total fuel amount of about 6,000 uh, pounds one, once we are full. So we keep that in mind. That will be the um, point if we're filled up to 6,000 pounds where the boom operator will disconnect us from the tanker. Another thing we could look up um, already in beforehand in All the right, briefing, up. if we go down to the port we will see okay there's an um, AWEX called eyeball one and the Carol one the tanker which is KC-10 and the KC-10 as well gives us the information so as it's a KC-10 that with the air-to-air -air tagging we do not only get the distance to the tanker but uh, we could also visually display the direction to the tanker through the HSI if we put it in tech and mode, but I will show that in, in the pit as well. Another thing um, we could 
could go to our comms letter. We will see tanker air to air refueling camel one will be on our preset number 13 frequency zero uh, three zero one decimal um, eight five zero. That said, we are um, set. Just double check. We have selected the second training. I'll take the wingman seat in order to showcase the different positions um, we take up during air-to-air -air refueling, like um, the like the observation position or the on deck position. That said, let's jump into pit. Bingo! Bingo! Okay, in that mission we always start with the tanker at about five miles at our one o'clock position, a little bit higher above us. So we already have him visual, um, but still in order to showcase the normal procedure for taking the tanker, I would request AWACS uh, for the position of the tanker, which is done by hitting Q two times and then with number four request vector to tanker. Goblet two eyeball one tanker channel one bearing zero one zero five miles tanker channel United Yankee. So Goblet two eyeball one tanker channel one uniform three zero one eight five so AWEX gave us all the information we needed. We got a bearing to the tanker, distance to the tanker, a tech and channel, and a frequency. So we start with our um, pre-checklist for air-to-air -air refueling. Um, first thing, I'll put in the tech end of the tanker. So press the number one TL TILS button. Um, check that we're in tech and air to air. Put in two niner. We're already on the correct band. Enter and we turn on the DCS switch. So, as we can see now on our DD, um, we got a distance to the tanker which is currently 6.3 miles. So, we have 6.3 miles um, behind the tanker. Next thing we could do is switch our HSI to tech end mode and then we get a pointer or the pointer is pointing towards um, the tanker so if we are further out or not directly um, behind him so as soon let's turn a little bit away from the tanker and as we can see the direction pointer is staying at the tanker direction. So moving back, going further in the um, checklist, I want to put my master arm switch to off because I don't want to shoot the tanker. Next thing is I'll put my RF switch to silent to turn off um, all radar emitting because I don't want to fry the boomer in the tank, tanker. Then I'll put my EVR switch to off so that I don't intentionally drop chaff or flare once I'm at the tanker. Another thing is, um, especially in those older uh, block 15s, we only um, have the speed indicator as ladder. S same goes for the uh, altitude. What we could do is we could turn off the or declutter the hut 
and with the hub decluttered we now have the speed indication in digital form for speed and altitude. So next thing would be we have to switch to the tanker frequency even so we are not the lead of the flight our AR lead won't do that and request the air-to-air -air refueling so I'll switch to preset number 13 on your Jeff we could check that we are on the right frequency 301.850 and then request the tanker for air refueling. Goblin 2-2, two two, camel 1-1, one one, copy. Now it's Roger. time to speed up a little bit and get closer to the tanker. Goblin 2-1, camel 1-1, one one, clear to pre-contact position. So one thing I like to do as well is displaying my DD data in the hut. So now I see I'm 4.1 miles out of um, or 4.3 miles away from the tanker. So getting behind him and trying to close up. So as long as I'm not closer than 1.5 miles, um, I don't care much about speed. So I'm currently in mill power. So there's my lead coming in. Closing up, so 2.2 miles. Already in the correct direction, so going down. So now I'm reaching 1.5 miles and I'm 140 miles at overtake. So the tanker is going now at 300 knots. So I'm going back to idle and uh, watch my speed and distance at the same time. So what I want to um, have is reducing my speed by 10 knots per 0 0.1 closure. So now I'm at 370, 707 uh, away, 360, 06 away, 350, 05 away. Uh, already, already slowing down too much. So Giving a little bit of throttle again. So once I'm reaching distance of 0 0.2, Goblin, two, one, camel, going one, back one, to idle to, to close, and going into the observation position, which is on the left wing of the tanker, a little bit above the tanker. So. Now Contact. I'm aiming to stay at about 300, which I said, if you watch the fuel flow gauge will be at around two, 2,500. So I'm slowing down and now setting for 2,500. There's still a bit maybe going down to 2,000, 200, 300, to slow down a little bit. Now as my lead is already on the tanker, I'm going to open my air refueling door. Speeding up a little bit as I'm falling behind. 
And now I could already go into this so-called on-deck position. Camel, 1-1, one, one. good to go. Roger. Goblin, 2-2, two, two. Camel, 1-1, one, one. clear to pre-contact position. Oh, it was a little bit too late for the on-deck position, so now I will go into pre-contact position. Goblin, 2-2, two, two. Camel, 1-1, one, one. heads up, tanker is entering turn. Closing in. So, turning with the tanker. Waiting to get clearance for contact position. Goblin, 2-2, two, two, camel, 1-1, one, one, clear to contact position. Okay, now I've Clear to contact position, now I'm going below the tanker and forward. So and from now on I look onto the lights. So we see, first of all, there's a um, red light which is steady, which tells me I have to go forward. This light will start flashing once I'm just at the right spot. That means once it starts flashing, I need to keep that position until the light goes out. So going forward with about maximum of one to two knots. Caution. Caution. So we see my fuel flow is set to about two seven to eight slowly going forward, already starting to reduce when the um, light is flashing. So now it says me I have to go up a little bit. Goblin, two, two, stabilize. Once both lights are out, I'm in the correct position, I have to stabilize. Contact. And I'm contacted. So from now on, I only fly the tanker lights. So, as long as it's not going into one of the red arrows, I don't touch my throttle at all. So it tells me to go a little bit up. As long as they are in the in the middle, everything is fine. So, and even if it starts um, moving forwards, like. Now, it's not really time to do anything on your um, throttle. Oh, came back. So even, so I'm giving a little bit throttle in to see when it's moving forward. So it's moving forward. Till the, the middle light is on. Now when the middle light goes out, then I think I need to reduce my speed a little bit. Uh, meantime, I could put in my bingo page so I see my fuel flow is good and I have already taken 5,000 pounds. Shortly, the boomer will disconnect because I'm full. Disconnect. Yeah. So now I reduce my speed a little bit, fall back. Usually that's now the time um, to give the tanker the information that you're done refueling, so that the next one could take up. I'll wait with that just to showcase where you would go after the refueling. It's, let's say we are a four ship flight, then we would take up the right observation position. And the next 
aircraft will take its turn. So coming towards so slowing down to around three hundred. up again yeah, it's a bit off. Um, I'm a little bit too too far behind. So being up closing again. And lowering down again. And set for about two thousand five hundred. Maybe a little less. That would be the correct spot. Okay, now I'm telling the tanker that I'm done. Roger. So now it's time to go to the checklist um, backwards, so bringing back my normal Hot. Then turn off my or turn on my radar again. If needed, put my master arm back on. Put my ER mode on. And get back into position with my lead. So coming out of the DB page, going back to tactical. And that's it for that tutorial. Um, hope you find found it helpful. So if you want to leave a, leave a comment below and see you next time.